You want to know what love is? Whenever I take her to a toy shop. <laughs> He wants it for Christmas. He believes it belongs in a museum. Don't do that, Luke. <laughs> So it's got the different cartoon ones and then it's got the Alfred from the Batman movie with Michael Keaton. What gets us there? I don't know. You tell me. It's your money. It's your deal. <laughs> I just have to, you tell me a total and I'll tell you if it works. <laughs> oh my, my, my. Hey nerdlings. Up, nerdlings? So you just got to see Castaway Toys. Wow, I must be incredibly loving and or insane to take this one to a toy store. That is a toy store that I definitely want to go back to. The minute you walk in, it's just overwhelming with boom, it hits you in the face with so many toys. <laughs> I do want to give a shout out to Kyle the Collector. I don't think he's really uh, active on YouTube anymore, but it was his video that put that in our head. So the last time we were in Kansas City, we started looking up some of the toy shops that he had gone to and shown off before. And Castaway Toys in Shawnee, Kansas was one of them. It was actually super close to where we were. Yes. So it was perfect for us to hit up. And you, wow, you got a lot of stuff. Before we get started, I need a drink because you just about put us in the poorhouse with this one. Although, look at this can art. Future Tom, take a look at this. This is the Lay A uh, from Logboat Brewing, a Berliner Weiss style ale Which with I, guava. I love that style ale, so I always know that I'm going to really like it, but the fact that it had guava in it is really good. Plus, the can art won you The over. can art is actually what really won me over. Then when you told me what it was, there was a Berlin Weiser, I was like, Berliner Weiser, however you say that. Uh, I was like, oh yes, please. So like growing up, longtime fan of Leia, you yes. even had a Leia toy. That was one of your all time uh -huh. favorites, if I recall. It was, yes. The funny thing is, is for the longest time as a child, I didn't know it was Princess Leia though. She just hung out with Catwoman and they flew around in a spaceship from Silverhawks. Like you do. Well, you know. Anyway, speaking of an eclectic <laughs> mix of toys, have at it. This is your show, my Well, lady. I guess since we are talking about Leia, first thing I got was a Tauntaun with a Han Solo that can come out. And did you know that Tauntauns are spring-loaded? 
<laughs> for e Fun fact, Star Wars fans. <laughs> for easy getting on the inside, because they smell bad on the inside and the outside. Wow. <laughs> nice. Nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. And I don't want to be, you know, not on topic with the uh, Wolverine and Deadpool that is everywhere and will be for a while probably. Got me a little um, Wolverine in his undies, his not so tidy whities but just tidy brownies. <laughs> Whoa, I don't, don't think, no. Uh, so he's got the Weapon X helmet, he's got all the ports on him. Yeah. He's got a tube hanging from his mouth. He's a little snarly. And he's got a lot of actually really good articulation to him, like even his like fingers and toes bend. So I was really impressed with that. But it was one of those things. It's like I'm very much in a you know Deadpool Wolverine era at the moment because the movie. So uh, I, I felt like I needed him. So I guess it doesn't just have to be Hugh Jackman if it's Wolverine mostly naked. You're on board. But I'm pretending it's Hugh Jackman. I can't do this. Yeah, Tonton. Oh no. Another action figure that I got that's <laughs> not uh, Marvel. I believe his this name guy. is Polka Dot Man. He, I felt so bad for this poor guy. He's like, yeah, my superpower sucks. It's like, yeah, it kind of does. But his outfit's kind of cute. But, you know, he just throws polka dots at you. Because, you know, that's, that's, that's real intimidating. Comic Rob, can you tell us one cool thing about Polka Dot Man? So, Polka Dot Man. Something cool about Polka Dot Man. Not a lot. I think DC believed him in a little bit because they put him in Detective Comics number 300. And when you're in a 100 mark sort of thing, I think they actually kind of back you a little bit. But other than that, to, saying that, he did something cool where this like man cow cover went flying up in the air and then hit him square on the head and smushed his brains out. That was pretty cool. Frankenstein? Yes. Uh, <laughs> polka dots. <laughs> Staying with DC, we have Talia Al Ghul. I actually have an action figure of her, but it's more like the cartoony version from the 90s. So I uh, was really excited to find this one. And the funny thing is, I didn't know who this was. I just found an action figure that I'm like, oh, she's super cool looking. Look at her outfit and her boots. And then I looked her up and I was like, oh, because it's Talia al Ghul. Of course. Apparently, I like Talia al Ghul. Well, dressed like this, she looks like she stepped out of the Underworld universe. She does kind of look like she stepped out of the Underworld universe, but uh, not quite as good a booty as uh, oh. Kate Beckinsale. Oh, so. <laughs> well, <laughs> we got to pause this video. <laughs> After these messages, we'll be right back. So we're going to pop back over to Marvel and look, check out Rachel Summers here. I don't re quite remember her, a whole lot of her storyline, but she's super cool. Another redhead. So, you know. Well, she's a cool looking figure like this. And yeah, as far as the story goes, come on, guys. We all know how convoluted Marvel gets as soon as they start doing any kind of time travel. I just liked her. I like the fact that she's got this really cool cape on that's all ratty and torn and stuff like Very that. Very weathered. Very weathered, yes. I made sure to get you some toys, though. Oh, you got these for I me, huh? I did get huh? these for you. I kind of felt like you got them for you. No. Well, I have a couple of Metal <laughs> Gear Solid figures from quite a while ago. Sniper Wolf and Meryl Silverberg. I don't know. I always liked the female figures whenever they would come out because they always looked very cool. Like, the male action figures, it's like, I've had G.I. Joes. You yeah. guys kind of all look the same. But, like, the female ones, it's like, oh, you obviously do a lot more to, you know, do something different with the hair and everything. Although, these guys are pretty great. I mean, check it out. We've got the twin snakes right here. Solid and liquid. Not yet, snake! It's not over yet. Oh. Uh, but, uh, fox! Die, 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 die. Wow. <laughs> they have a ton of accessories with both of them. And both look really cool. I mean, Snake has got a sneaking suit on. He's very <laughs> muscular everywhere. His bandana... Always, even when there's no wind, it's blowing <laughs> in the wind. And then Liquid, he's got his cool coat on, which is great because, you know, he spent all that time in Alaska with no shirt on, so, yeah. Check, check that out. Got some work to do. <laughs> Maybe this will help. A few more 12-ounce curls. You know what else is kind of fun about these action figures? They both come with night vision goggles so they can reenact the scene from Step Brothers. <laughs> They're going to do karate in the garage. 
<laughs> and that's kind of perfect because they are brothers. Anyway. <laughs> the last action figure that I got there is um, a, an action figure of me, I would like to say. You know, do you see the resemblance? Totally. The green eyes glowing with the, the weird almost Deadpool, not quite Deadpool mask. Yeah. The chain wrap it around your booty. Yeah. The only problem is her booty's a little flat. Mine's not flat. That's the only difference. Only difference. Yeah, I picked up this she spawn. I've actually had my eye on her for quite a while. I've always thought she looked really cool. Obviously, red hair. She's got the long, flowing, beautiful red hair locks. But then this just like badass biker chick, high heel boot outfit that she's got going on. I just, I always thought she was really, really cool looking. And then she just comes with all these friggin' accessories. I mean, half of these guns are like bigger than she is. I'm like, I'm not sure how you can handle these, but she's got one hell of a sniper rifle here. And she's got, you know, just some other regular uh, rifles here. This one, she's kind of taped together the two magazines so she can quickly swap them out. So doesn't have to do that one. This is the one, though, that's a little interesting to me because I don't know what it is or recognize it in any way, shape, or form. But I did notice that she has a pistol taped to the back of it. Mm -hmm. So I guess maybe it's easy access. Like if she runs out of all of... The magazine accoutrements on there she can just rip that pistol off of there and shoot people with it i've never seen that before and then of course she's got a normal looking sword and then this thing <laughs> i think it's a jet powered blade it's, or something it's like it is bigger than she is <laughs> the size of these weapons i swear we've seen stuff like this on anime cosplayers at conventions oh, before yeah. and it always looks like fun and ridiculous there and it's going to be fun and ridiculous seeing her pose with these yeah now, one thing you did not get at this toy shop were any plushies. I did and not. I mean, the lady loves her plushies. However, I finally got to take you to an IKEA and for that years. Was so much fun. I've been watching you guys with your collection room showing off your weird named furniture. I'd have taken an Emnis or, or, or a tree solo for the her doll. I've always wanted to go to an IKEA store because, you know, looking at the stuff online, it doesn't have the same kick. You loved the store. I did. It was like walking around like either an Animal Crossing or a Sims house because you had all these rooms and you could play house in all these rooms and then dream of your amazing kitchens or bedrooms you could have, not to mention the cafeteria floor. But you even came home with some shelves. I managed shelves. to find no, some. Wait a sec. Uh, spoilers. No, uh, yeah. The toy room is changing, you guys. Not that you ever got a toy room tour. I tell you what. We'll do a quick... If maybe not a tour, maybe a quick, at least video of the room, because I am in the process of getting it cleaned up, because that's why you haven't seen a tour, because it's been a month. But so, you got some new shelves to I try out. I did get out, some new shelves. So that's going to be yes. exciting. And this is when you filled that plushie quota. I did fill my plushie quota there. I first found these teeny tiny little lion and hippos. I thought they were super cute. And I honestly was like, well, this is the only plushies I can find are these things. And then we walked into a room of plushies. Did you know Ikea has a room of plushies? They do. Found me an adorable little panda bear, which the funny thing is, I have actually was seeing him all over the store, like in different things. And I was like, they've got to be selling that panda. And they did. I was very excited about that. And then I got a dinosaur egg because it looks like Yoshi. Yoshi egg, but I, it's not a Yoshi dinosaur. So you flip him around and look. Now you got a fun little dino. And forgive me, I don't remember what kind of dino he is, but I thought he was cute. You know, when you're an adult, people don't ask what your favorite dinosaur is anymore. What is your favorite dinosaur? I think it's the Plesiosaurus, the one that's basically Loch Ness Monster. I'm pretty I sure it's called the Plesiosaurus. I could be completely wrong, and don't come at me in the comments because I was not... I was a dinosaur kid. Well, I was a human kid, but I liked dinosaurs. Ha <laughs> ha! But I was not one of those kids that knew all the names of the dinosaurs, except for like T-Rex and Pterodactyl and Stegosaurus, you know, the typical ones. But I like the ones that, the one that looks the, like Nessie. That's it. The one I like. But this one was cute. He was cute, but it mostly because he looked like a Yoshi egg. Well, there you have it, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the tour of Castaway Toys. Again, in Shawnee, Kansas. Yes. Really cool store. One cool last time, shout out to Kyle the Collector for letting us know about the store. Hopefully we can help turn someone else onto the store and you can go check it out yourselves, see what you can find there. This is why we love doing videos like this to try to get uh, some information out there, a little recognition for these places. 
most of the time people will have stuff like this fairly close to them and they don't even know about it yep. so this is hopefully helping for that and showing you some of the cool stuff that you can find i mean even if you're not into marvel dc comic book based toys video games. maybe you want some video game stuff or movie uh, toys from star wars yeah and uh of course going to ikea not only can you find source. cool shelves for those awesome collection rooms you can find plushies too this one can always find toys anywhere we go i can't well, if it's not a toy i can at least find something to buy all right leave some comments down below what'd you think of castaway toys what'd you think of her pickups and what is your favorite dinosaur for every person that leaves a comment but does not tell us what their favorite dinosaur is i'll take another drink oh don't do that they're gonna make you get in the hospital with alcohol poisoning bye nerdlings bye nerdlings yeah. Mic check, Tom. Mic check. Mic check. This gun is incredible. That was really short. <laughs> I think we're in there. We'll see. <laughs> My head might be cut off. But... We gotta turn stand two. Yeah. Quiet on the set, please. What did I just say? Ready? You take a look at my gun, you'll see a very recognizable signature. Uh-uh. Randy Jackson. Why do you have Randy Jackson signature on a gun? Because the gun was the only thing I had when I ran into Randy Jackson, and you're not, not going to get his signature. I totally would have done the same thing.